energy of ocean waves is easy to see, but can that energy be harnessed and put to practical use powering oceanographic platforms far out at sea without human intervention? Achieving that capability is the goal of a collaborative research team from the University of Washington and Oregon State University. This is a project to build a wave energy converter that can power an oceanographic measurement system. And specifically what we targeted for this project was to power a remotely operated vehicle. Typically we deploy systems out in the open ocean, they're very far from land, they're very far from any source of power, and so we use a lot of batteries. If we could harness from the ocean that we're sitting in, then we can stay out there longer and make measurements longer. So the idea is to be really pushing the endurance of autonomous systems in the ocean to be able to monitor the ocean, to be able to make measurements in the ocean. Meeting this challenge requires integrating several technological innovations. Thus far, we've only been going out for day trips. All of the development that we've doing, been doing uh, in the past few months and all the data that we're collecting this week is going to allow us to prepare this device for a longer term deployment. The prototype system tested by researchers consists of a submerged reactive body, a heave plate, about 30 meters below the surface. Also included a docking station where an undersea vehicle can access the power generated on the surface by the wave energy converter built by Columbia Power Technologies. It has two floats, a central nacelle that actually has the power generating equipment inside it. As the waves pass by, the device operates by rotating the floats relative to the nacelle and the heave plate below. And that differential motion of the arms is actually the rotary motion of the generators that gets passed through the gearbox into the generators and actually creates the electricity that we use. We can see one of the generators for the wave energy converter. This generator connects to the forward float of the device. And when that float spins, it goes through a 100 to 1 gearbox. Uh, and then that gearbox steps up the motion for the generator to produce electricity. Uh, that generator then dumps its electricity into uh, one of these boxes, uh, which conditions it and provides a smooth output uh, that we can then store in our batteries. There's a lot of technology development that's gone into this particular project. So harnessing energy from the waves, that's one thing that is new and, and challenging. The other things that are, are happening on this project is we have a submersible winch that is controlling the connection to the remotely operated vehicle and, and bringing in and bringing out that tether. That's, a, that's something that's newly developed for this that's a challenge. And then the last thing is for this vehicle to be able to dock and undock from the system. So we can go do a mission, swim around and look around and make some measurements and then come back into the dock to get recharged. And that docking and undocking, that's also something that's pretty cutting edge to do underwater with a, a remotely operated vehicle. We tested the piloting of the ROV remotely. We were able to pilot the ROV out of its dock, which was at 30 meters below the surface. That's an operation we completed successfully four times, um, which was an exciting demonstration of the potential to dock and undock an ROV from the heave plate of a wave energy converter. As this wave energy converter gets developed uh, down the road, we're also going to be incorporating the Wibotic wireless charging system with this docking station. The Wibotic system uses magnetic resonance to throw electricity across the small water gap between the wave energy storage system on the heave plate and the docked ROV. This project has taken a big team, everything from mechanical engineers to electrical engineers to field engineers, graduate students, postdocs, and so we really have contributions from a lot of different disciplines that are making this happen. I'm a new postdoc, I started in October, but I've been tuned into the project as a PhD student as well. So I've kind of been involved in the project loosely since the start, which was about two and a half years ago. So this is actually, I think, 10 years since I first started working on uh, any kind of wave energy converter projects at the applied physics lab. And so it's exciting to start seeing something that we can start applying the power to uh, an oceanographic application all in one unit. <laughs>